Hello everyone. Most of you know by now that there has been a resource center created for our members and we are your representatives. I'm Emily Garris and you may have seen me in the benefits office before as your alternate benefits rep. And I'm Julie Franklin. If you're in assembly on A shift, you may have seen me walking around the floor as your alternate union rep. The resource center is going to be a hub for all members to come for help in many aspects. We can assist you with anything related to employment, volunteer opportunities, workshops, or even just to get out of the house for some social events. Since the start of the Resource Center on October 2nd, we have had many meetings with resources in our communities. We didn't fully understand how great the community truly is here in Ingersoll and the surrounding areas. The connections we have made with many local businesses are already is unbelievable with many people in disbelief that Cami is still going through layoff. We have a couple of job opportunities. If that is something that interests you, we will be posting them in the days to come. Community Employment Services and Fanshawe College offer some workshops that are free of charge if you are wanting to just fill some time while you are off. We are hoping to get some interest in a couple workshops to offer here at the hall. Fanshawe College has an open house on October 28th at all locations. If you are looking to go back to school, this would be a great place to get some information on where to start. McMaster University has some free online courses for auto workers. The next course starting December 4th is called Challenges, Successes and Prospects for the Future. The registration deadline is December 1st. We have met with our MP, Arpan Cannon, and we are meeting with our MPP, Ernie Hardiman, to see if there's anything that our government can do to help our resource center. We have also set up a meeting with Brian Petrie, our local mayor, to discuss options. Our mission is to help all members with resources during this difficult time. We have reached out to many businesses in hopes for discounts to extend to the membership. More information regarding discounts will be available at a later date. Please also remember that we have many discounts offered through TELUS Health, formerly known as LifeWorks. Be sure to check out this website for many other resources. We will attach the information following the video. As you may know, our members have all volunteered tremendously throughout the year, especially around the holiday season. Christmas hampers is a big one. Although we aren't doing the massive collection this year for these hampers, they are still going to be going out to those in need. They need help with assembling the boxes here locally along with delivery. If this is something that you're interested in, please reach out. We also have many volunteer opportunities for other organizations. If volunteering is something that you've always wanted to do, now is the time. If you are in need of school supplies or feminine hygiene products, we received a donation and have these items available at the hall while supplies last. We are still taking coats for kids if you miss the deadline on the drop off. We are planning a beans and boards event here in the early of November. This is gonna be a chili cook off and a cornhole tournament. More information will be out very soon. We have created a survey for you to complete to give us a better idea of the needs of the membership. We understand that we have many members in different situations and we want to try to help everyone. You can find the link to the survey after the video. The Cami Gym is now open and they are accepting applications. You can fill out the application via the Unifor webpage. For more information, please reach out to camiassemblyfitness at gmail.com. The board is on layoff right now, but they will be checking their emails once a week. In closing, we are here to help you in any way that we can. Please stop by the hall or reach out to us via phone or email. Our information will be after the video and we, we look forward to helping you. Hello, Local 88 siblings. My name is Dave Simmons. And for those who don't know me, I'm your local's EFAP addictions and mental health representative. The position I hold at your local helps those in dealing with personal concerns, problems, crisis, and situations, which may sometimes lead into addiction-related concerns. Mental health is not something you push aside or just get over. 
There are those that suffer in silence that you may have seen around putting on the face, smiling, happy, easy go, easy going, etc. And yet being mentally, emotionally, spiritually torn up inside. There are so many other variables that range from happy to that grumpy co-worker that no one wants to talk to, that can be very difficult to understand what they might be facing under the facade. What I provide our members and families is a non-judgmental place to go to or even call when life seems to get a little too much to handle. That in the past we are able to make a good decisions uh, without being overwhelmed with what we are facing at the time of need. When we start to feel this way, we sometimes can be difficult to make decisions others wouldn't even skip a beat to handle without the need to reach out for help. This is a normal process and you may feel like your situation isn't important as others or that your burden is your own and not for others to resolve or that, one, that no one cares enough to help you through these difficult times. Rest assured you're not alone. If this is something you can relate to, there might be a chance that you are one that suffers in silence. It happens often, and I want our members and our families to know that there is a place to go and to get the help. Our membership and families are facing a great deal of suffer. Uh, local ADA has, become, uh, has begun a long-term layoff, and there might be those that are not phased by this time off, but there are those members that are fighting an uphill battle to keep their head above the water to survive. I've had a significant number of members reaching out to me to seek help, as well as members contacting me to do wellness checks for other members. I just want everyone to know that when I am contacted to do a wellness check, that I do not share any personal information back to the member that initiated the check. All that member would get from me is that I'm in contact with that member and nothing else. Your privacy is very important to me, and I continue to keep the confidentiality of our members under lock and key. For the first time, the company has me in during this extended layoff and will continue to provide services to our members and their families in their time of need. I will be in the office Monday, Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. And as always, I can be reached by my cell, the company cell phone, through email and social media. I'm available anytime, day or night. My contact information will be at the end of this video. I want to thank you and remember that you're not alone.